Dara O'Brien, Merry Christmas. You know, this isn't really the time of year for biting satire and hard-hitting political comment. It's time for family, togetherness and joy. So we've put together this special festive show featuring some seasonal chat, some best bits and a sack full of hilarious unseen material. So sit back, relax and enjoy it. Until next year, you look after yourself now. <laughs> Yvonne the cow has been discovered... Uh, on a German farmer's field. It's the biggest story in Germany this summer, right? They, uh, Yvonne the cow was going to an abattoir, but escaped from the abattoir yeah. and ran off into the wild. Uh, this is the kind of image they had of Yvonne. They couldn't see her for months, but occasionally oh. in the distance... Did they, they get that from a B&B? <laughs> 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 what kind of art you have in a bedroom in a shit bed and break? <laughs> Like, are you sure that isn't Harry Close Potter's... Enough. Is that not Harry Potter's Patronus? <laughs> it is a beautiful story, though, because, you know, they've captured her and they're taking her back now and they're looking after her and she, they've, they've given her a job presenting loose women. <laughs> <laughs> they're a bit worried she might be a bit highbrow, but they're just going to rein her in. I don't know why the bulls don't put the seats down. It really pisses me off. <laughs> What the hell is that, Linda? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, do they try, how do they try to catch her? Well, they, well it's tragic. They, uh, they, she was missing for three months, so they put a picture on a milk carton, but no-one noticed. <laughs> 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 they, um... I don't know. They, well, how do you... I don't know how you find cow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come 2 a.m., love. They sent bull noises. They played bull noises into the forest. They had an actual bull. Did they use yeah, they used, they used a real bull. It, got... it, used, it stood there playing Barry White CDs. How do you make a bull make bull noises? There's one. Squeeze the squeeze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 to that worked. Uh, no, it no, didn't. No, it, it didn't. didn't work. He just turned up on a farm. Um, and she's now in an animal sanctuary. She's not going to be slaughtered. She's been reunited with her two year old son. Uh, <laughs> also ah, a cow. She's not a sick one. Well, it's actually he's a packet of burgers. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they put it and glued his face on. <laughs> <laughs> Big bag of veal. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, your son is your son is delicious. Yes. 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 Oh, I mum would love that above the fireplace. That picture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. At the end of that round, possibly the weirdest round we've ever done. Uh, <laughs> the, so, the story we should have done this week is the story of that poor pensioner who complains to the post office that his letters weren't being delivered. And he, it was pointed out to him that for three years he'd been posting them into a red dog poo bin. <laughs> <laughs> and now we come to our special Christmas quiz. I asked the panellists a series of questions all about the festive season in the hope of filling five minutes we're trying to get out of this of our Christmas special. So... <laughs> Teams, here we go. First question, what Christmas tradition was it? There are no note, there are no buzzers or any points. <laughs> this show is not built in any way to accommodate genuine quizzes. But nonetheless, you can take your turn. Which Christmas tradition was inaugurated by Sir Henry Cole in 1843? Is it the Christmas tree? Is it not the Christmas tree? Arguing with your relatives? No, it's not that one either, I'm afraid, no. Is it, is it holding mistletoe above your head and therefore being allowed to sexually harass other people? <laughs> It is not that happy tradition, no. Is it waking your children early, saying to them, oh, it looks like the sleeping pills have worked, happy Easter? <laughs> <laughs> is it going to church just once a year, and that's usually at midnight, after the pubs have closed, because <laughs> you want one more glass of wine? <laughs> oh, man, you really want to be desperate for your wine, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's something to bring up at an AA meeting. I sat through God. That's how much... I wanted another drink. Mm. Is it a Christmas stocking? No, it's not Christmas stocking. 
That's a Victorian tradition. Were you trying to mine something there for us? It was... The oh, Christmas card. Yes! Well done, Ed Byrne. Points for him. Congratulations. There are no points. I know there are no points. You promised us there'd be no points. Name Santa's reindeer. I'll take attempts at this. Donner and Blitzen. Correct. Prancer and Vixen. That's two each. Dasher. Yes, three it's two. It's like you're doing a duet. Bonza. <laughs> but not Rudolph. Mm. That's a lie. We've had. Yeah. What have we had? I've, I've lost. I'm actually lost. Donner and Blitzen. Donner and Blitzen. Some, yeah. some Dasher Comet. Bashful. Com Com uh, bashful <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> Doc and if one's, if one's called Comet, one's going to be called Curry. So <laughs> Or oh, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Comet, Vixen, Cupid. Cupid? Cupid? No, we said Cupid. What a ridiculous mm. name for a reindeer. Cupid. They must have teased him, though, with a name like that. They must have teased him. He must have been the reindeer that they teased. <laughs> reindeer are notoriously unlike... shallow, in fairness. If, you, if, if the, the story about Rudolph is anything to go by, reindeer are ridiculously shallow. And yeah. they will make fun, and they will slag you off until you get a job with Santa, and then they will all love you. Really? <laughs> the last line of that song should actually be, and then Rudolph turned around at them and said, well, fuck you, I'm with Santa now. <laughs> Merry Christmas, why, everyone. Why don't you look at my ass for the entire... <laughs> uh, well, we probably you fly the entire world while you look at my hole. Right? <laughs> uh, I don't know how fast we fly, that's all you're going to see. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, all you're going to see is my hairy reindeer ass uh, going all around the world. The nose is in the front, bitches. Uh, the nose is... The nose is fighting fog, but you're looking at my ass, Cupid. Uh, that's all you get. Enjoy oh, your reindeer draft. game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we move on? Oh, sorry, is that not festive enough for this ridiculously <laughs> good time? Sorry, am I not striking the mood of the nation at this day? Yeah, look at the bitches, look at that ass. <laughs> See you, baby, shaking that ass, shaking that ass. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> In other news, in other news, what is the Bank of England doing to improve the UK's dire economic situation? Bring a buy sale. Yes, a massive <laughs> global bring a buy sale. Uh, no, no, what's that? Quantitative easing. Yes. It's very difficult yeah, to say that. Yeah. Quantitative easing. Yeah. <laughs> And George Osborne, didn't he? He said in 2009, he said, quantitative easing is the last resort of a desperate government when all other policies have failed. Well remembered, he did. He yeah. Did. Well. So, but it's fantastic that he had such foresight back in 2009 to know what a crap chancellor he was about to become. <laughs> Who announced that? Who announced the quantitative easing? Mervyn King announced it. Yeah, so I get confused. I genuinely get confused between Mervyn King <laughs> and Marvin Gaye. <laughs> Here, Mervyn King. I think, didn't he do I Heard It Through the Great Park? <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? That's wrong. I, uh, I always think that Mervyn King doesn't look so much like a man as a mole who was burrowed out of a suit. <laughs> <laughs> Except, uh, Mervyn King said, This is the worst recession ever. The worst financial crisis ever. The word ever, whenever you put it on the end of a sentence, just makes you sound like a petulant teenager. There's no other way. <laughs> this is the worst financial crisis ever. I hate you. I wish I'd never been born. <laughs> This QE, though, isn't it? Is they're worried exactly where the money, you know, will go, what the banks will do with it. Obviously, the government are hoping that it will go to small businesses, or as they used to be called, large businesses. <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, um, do you know how much growth the UK has gone through in the last? 0.01%. 0.01% Not growth. And, so you, and that is all down to Adele. <laughs> uh, <laughs> She hadn't released that album, frankly, there'd be no growth at all. Uh, so. I times are hard, and I didn't think that I get a loan for, from the bank for my uh, knitting business. I found if I actually turned up wearing a balaclava... The problem with quantitative easing is they, they want to pump £75 billion into the economy, right? And, and that's literally printing more money. That means your money is worth less. This is the second time they've done it. Every time they do it, your money is worth less. I think every time they do it, the Queen should be wearing shittier and shittier clothes <laughs> until eventually she's just in Primark leggings and a scrunchie. <laughs> There's a fag hanging over yeah. America. <laughs> The, the governor of the Bank of England promises to pay you fuck all, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Our next round is called Newsreel. We play in a recent piece of footage featuring people in the news and ask you to suggest what might be being said. This week's clip features David Cameron.
Right, well, they said this was the place to go for the world leaders' Christmas party, but uh, doesn't seem to be anyone around. That's a little bit strange, so uh, never mind. Oh, dear, look, a long corridor, lots of cameras. Oh, my God, I think I may be entering the Big Brother house. <laughs> Never mind, I hope they've got the housemates I wanted. Stacey Solomon, Ian Beale, and H from Steps. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Angela Bavaria's next big model. <laughs> Bless the eyes. Yes, I uh, used to be a world leader, but not anymore, no. I've, uh, I've come to read the meter. He's over there. Yeah. <laughs> I got the pencil. That's so good. Oh, bonjour. How are you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Even the Chinese are taller than me. <laughs> Maybe I should uh, start wearing colours eels. I'll tell you a secret. I'm already wearing a panties. <laughs> See? Look, you'll enjoy this. Look at that. See? That's one of our riots. Yes? It's cool. Yeah? But it could be taboo. Yes. <clears throat> hey, big fella. How you doing? Yeah. Merry Christmas. How was your year? Yeah? Well, it wasn't bad, actually. Yeah. I tell you a highlight of mine. I personally tracked down and killed the world's most wanted man, Osama bin Laden. Yeah. There was no footage released because I did it on my own. Yeah, I did. So I made bang. I got him. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. So, has anybody uh, given you a Christmas box? Well, unfortunately, no. I was hoping to get one with Nick Clegg's head in it, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's me. I got Osama, yeah. Yeah, I killed him. Bare, bare hands. Yeah. Yeah. No joking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's me. Someone has dropped this curtain on me, but from where? <laughs> oh, I'm not going to drink any of the tap water. I think David Walliams might have been swimming in it, so... Uh, yeah, it was me. Bare hands. One, uh, one blow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, presents. I want a step ladder. Yeah. No. It's Ben Kingsley, isn't it? <laughs> oh. oh, lovely to see you, Mr. Cameron. Come over and sit down here. Yes, please, make yourself comfortable. Well, thank you very much. Yes, I think there's uh, great scope for cooperation between our two nations. I think we can move forward together in the future. And if I can say uh, just one thing to you, uh, symbols. <laughs> <laughs> please don't go. Please don't go. Thank you, Richard. Why should it be illegal to eat mince pies on Christmas Day? Because they're fucking minging. <laughs> <laughs> so why is the, are, they, are they actually mince? Are they mince? No, 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 well, you can go really badly wrong them... with that. It's yeah. mince meat, which is, a, which is a mixture of vileness, vomit, <laughs> tears, disappointment and lemon peel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it... As opposed to meat. Mint. Like no, many things about Christmas, it sounds fun and it's a massive disappointment. <laughs> why should it be illegal, though? Because they contain swan. No, it's not because they can. <laughs> it's because a well-known friend of the Irish, Oliver Cromwell, uh, banned them in the 17th century, and the law has never been rescinded. Really? Yeah. You're fairly safe because you're very unlikely to meet a roundhead now. <laughs> in Tesco, I've never. I've been there lots. I've never seen one. Have you? Well, it depends whether Dara's shopping there. Or not. <laughs> 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 Oh, God. Oh, well, the humour of that situation was reduced by me dying of TB. Uh, <laughs> just just got a bit out, Darwin. OK. Just got a bit out. <coughs> I'm not just going to gob it out. Anyone <laughs> people, uh, <laughs> people, people used to do a big gob on the floor and they'd say, pick the bones out of that one. <laughs> yeah, the bones <laughs> look, those were great days, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. How have the three main party leaders fared in a recent poll? Well, it wasn't a poll. quite badly. It was a survey, wasn't it? <coughs> it was a survey of sorts, yes, Are you, um, would you like me to get you a consumption doctor? <laughs> <laughs> You're such an Irish stereotype. Look at you dying of consumption. <laughs> so cold. You wait till uh, the famine kicks in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How have the three main party leaders fared in a recent poll? Well, Where, was it a poll? It well, a it's a poll, a survey... Yeah, it's, it's a, a focus question. group. Lord Ashworth ran a, ran a focus group in which he got people to identify uh, leaders that, of each of the parties with particular animals. So, uh, Cameron was a lion, uh, Miliband was a dog, Clegg was a kitten, which is fair enough, isn't it? Because those are three things that are never going to clear up their own shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. if, if, Cameron, yeah. if Cameron was compared to a lion, what we want to know is, does that make Theresa May the witch and Eric Pickles the wardrobe? <laughs> It was a sheep as well. He was a he was a, kitten, a, yeah, it was a all sheep like, yeah. or a mouse. But when they said he reminded them of a bulldog, you know, they obviously the toy party now saying, oh yes, sturdy, powerful British, whereas people might have meant stupid, dangerous, inbred. inbred. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, if you were gonna be an animal, if you personally wanted to be an animal, there's nothing wrong with being a sheep. No, 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 no. I would personally I would like to be a sheep. <laughs> 